And hello again, dear viewers. This is Chained Echoes, and I will be your host, Minsk, if you couldn't suss that one out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Chained Echoes, good times. We got to the giant robot part. Let's go back over... Oh, I can't call them in while we're standing around in tall grass. Hold on. Yeah, look at our team. This is so cool. I love it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, last time we picked up with Glenn after the calamitous events at the battle between Tarin and Escania, which, you know, ended with his... Yeah, I don't... It, it, he, he, he was there. I still don't know how much it's his fault when, you know, the grimoire got shot out of his hand. But anyway, he had, was holding the grimoire. It got shot out of his hand. It dropped. It caused another awful explosion. And, uh, yeah, it was four months later, Tarin's taken over the continent, basically. Uh, we were having a weird, like, kind of redemption arc taking care of orphans was uh, what, what we were doing. But then it turns out that they were figments of, of Glenn's imagination spawned by his guilt, I guess. Or possibly even ghosts, since they kind of messed with you a little bit by having... Dude, that that was a. I still think that was awesome. That little moment of um, Victor like actually interacting with one of the ghost kids. That was really cool because it, it's it's very by the books, but I wasn't expecting it at all. So I was like really delighted. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that all got interrupted because Victor showed up. Was like, we're building the team back together. We're gonna freaking stop the Grand Grimoire for good. And uh, it was surprisingly little angsting and um, negotiating. Uh, Glenn joined up the team again, so here we are with a full assortment of Sky Armors now, which is interesting. This whole level has been kind of messing around with those, with a couple of breaks. They've also been introducing the, you know, limitations of Sky Armors. You can't call them indoors, you can't go indoors in them. You can't, you know, you get areas with high grass, you can't interact, you know, with the Sky Armors, you know. You know, it's, we're not going to be sailing through everything, but I guess the assumption is... I might be wrong about this, but I imagine the assumption is going to be going on from now on. If a fight can be dealt with a Sky Armor, then we're going to do that. There's no point in doing a fight on foot now if the Sky Armor option exists, except for bragging rights. I mean, if it's an encounter balanced for an on-foot party, and we can use Sky Armors, the Sky Armors are going to stomp them, the enemies, you know? Like, destroy them. If it's an encounter that is balanced for Sky Armors, then at best it'd be a humongous challenge encounter with our on-foot heroes. Or at worst, you know, you know, we can't do it, so there's no point, like, to do it in Sky Armor. But, uh, for yeah, now let's carry on. Like, the airship that, yes, we have one of those now as well, is parked here on Mount Rydell. I think there was some talk about a condor or something. That's a lovely view. Was it really nighttime outside, though? This is... That's kind of weird. Is it really nighttime outside? Oh! Oh, well, never mind. Apparently we weren't in the actual Mount Rydell yet. We were at the Mount Rydell hinterlands or something, and indeed, indeed is now nighttime. Now is there something new on the reward board? No, it looks like Rydell doesn't get its own area on the board. For reasons, I guess. Eh. Lovely. I like the vibes. You can hover over water on the same ground level. Oh, right. Again, Sky Armor tips. Yeah. We... Oh, no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that little tiny thing we couldn't walk down in Sky Armors. Very funny. We can also... I'm pretty sure we can just jump over. Oh, no. Actually, interesting. It looks like it's like a one-way jump. Like, right there, it's a one-way jump. Oh, we can't also... Oh, interesting! You can... That's good to know. You can, like, uh... Get out of the sky armors in tall grass. But you can't call them in, obviously. Interesting. Good good to know, though. Now, where's that map? Okay, we were in Mount Rydell, but apparently this was just, you know, a bit of an introduction here. Now, hold on, I can't help but notice. There we go. Glad I looked at the map. There's a little nook down here with... a Aspatha! Something for Glenn, I take it? Yes, it's his next uh, tier of sword. 
Eh, with all those boosts we've done to the Silver Sword, this isn't like a crazy jump in attack, but I'm not gonna sneeze at it. We. Yeah, I really gotta remember, we've only had the one episode where we really got to fly around the Sky Armors, or, or Session 2 episodes, really. I really gotta try and remember that, like, yes. Oh, what? Now I can't land here. Well, how did I land that one time? That was very odd. That, that must have been like a, like I broke the game or something. Oh, no, I, I know what I was doing, because I was like, I wasn't breaking the game. It's just because you got float over the grass, so... Yes, yes, yes. Demon leather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was floating ground level. But if I uh, take off, I won't be able to land back down here. Oh, God, three of you? Right, these uh, big... What are these guys? Big, big heads. Big heads were a big problem last time. Well, not a big problem, but so far we just fought them in pairs of two, so... This new setup of three of these yuckos is a bit of a problem. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I'll try and use the same strats I've used before. Might have to be more careful about healing, though, just to make sure nothing horrible happens to us. Which is kind of... Oh, boy. Ooh, Bothros barely tanked that. Lovely. Ooh, that's big damage. Sweep that leg. Yeah. All right, well, I guess we'll poison the next guy. And we got to make a big, big helio here. So I'm going to amp up the gear. Whoop. Oh, Bathros might go down if this guy... Okay, lucky, lucky. Didn't target him. Okay, that's not huge damage because we weren't charging. Mm. That's that's big damage though. Guy is already poisoned. Ooh, oh, we gotta we gotta cycle down a little bit because uh, we're about to hit red. Oh no, we're gonna go into overdrive if I do this. I did, which means we can't heal up here. That's a problem. Well, what we can do is. Nice, make sure that guy dies. Okay, okay. That could have gone still badly, like he could have gone for Bothros there, but we probably could have the three of us beaten him. Ooh, yes. Oh, we are all out here, so no more fire shots either. Instead, we'll just shoot the guy in the head. Yep, and Tracker is moving to the right now, at the same time, is also a good benefit here. I forgot to check how much TP restores when you're at gear zero, but it seems to be quite fast, because look, we're, all, we're, like a, we're like a we're like an 80 with Bothros, and he couldn't do any moves a second ago, so... That's pretty good. Yeah, this fight, uh... I would say, this fight, we got a little lucky in places. I was really, like, uh, leaning on, like, Bathra's not getting attacked when he really could have, like, been taken down. But... I'd say it was still a solid effort. Oh, okay. I was, for a second, I was like, you can take the machine in here. Nope. Now, hold on. There's like a weird little track above us, and there's also enemies to deal with. Let's see how this goes. Scotty Elemental. Interesting. Let's go for the Ice Devils first, I guess. Should I put the Warrior class that's on Glen right now? Now that we have Sienna and... Rob back in the team. I could put it on Rob, you know. Should I do that? I'm not sure. 
Alright, let's get that healing him going. I feel like this is better than just a regular heal, you know, right off the top. I, I don't know, I feel like it. Speed up! Yikes! Okay, and not too bad. I forget that, uh... I forget that, uh, you know... Damage values aren't so bad when you're not in the robots. Oh, this Scotty Elemental might be a problem. I maybe should have gone after him first, because this is doing... This is, this is leaving a mark on us, this, this thing. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to go down there. Don't down the meter. Instead, let's uh, inflict heavy on them. Might be able to pull off some tricks with that. Yeah, set up a bleed. Interesting thing about this game, honestly, with the two, two combat mechanics of the armor and... Uh, on foot. I haven't exactly gotten a feel yet exactly on how well the two mesh yet. Like, it, it seems to be alright so far. Switching here between modes, I, I, I'd say. Ooh, inflicted wet. Neat. But, um, you know, gotta still reserve my judgment a little bit. Oh yeah, this Scotty Elemental is a problem with this AO. Next time we encounter one of these, they have to die first. Because this, this is ridiculous. Gotcha. Um, like, it, 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 it's fascinating that, like, the game doesn't, like... Mm, how should I put this? The values for... Uh, the, the damage values and numbers for... Um, uh, combat in the armor isn't scaled... Uh, is is, is uh, what I find fascinating. Uh, like they could have done a system where like the the, the, the mechanics just are different between uh, you know you know the mechanics are so distinct that, that the values are so distinct between um, between uh, regular foot foot combat and sky armor combat that they just use like values the same number of values for damage and everything, but then they'd had to be like separate things. But this uh, game instead chooses, fascinatingly, to um, have them, like, actually be scaled up to, like, what the kind of damage and armor and everything values would be for a giant mech suit like that. Uh, if, um, I'm using that because of the uh, wet there, you know. You know, if, if like, you know... If, like, you know, you were able to have, like, units on foot. Which means that you can mix up the two, like, uh... You can mix up these two, um, you know... Form, like, modes of combat. You can you can have encounters with, um... Sky armor that are intended for on foot and the other way around, you know. Like, like, like you can have, like, they're, they're not sequestered gameplay-wise. Oh, that heavy is gone, so I can't pull that off. That's too bad. But we can't always do this. Build up that weapon meter. Gonna be able to pop that in a bit. Ooh, that ice stream is starting to eat me up. Ooh, but pedal storm is. Oh, it's no. We got points for it, but it's, we can't use it. Gotta build up technical points. Um, Oh, uh, well, actually, yeah. I, I could use that weakness, but I gotta keep that overdrive meter in a reasonable place. Um, let's break that. So that's, like, a fun thing. It must not have been super easy to, like, balance all of that, I imagine. But, like, it, it's it's fun that it works that well, you know, the, the two combat modes. Um... I, I, I don't know if I mentioned this last time Sky Armors came up. I might be repeating a story at this point, in which case, apologies. Um, but I, I, I was fascinated reading about online once uh, a person who was planning a mech RPG, like a tabletop RPG, 
for like mech combat. They were planning online. They had like their plans for. Now how did you? Was it just regular attacks restore technical? You gotta do regular attacks to restore technical points. You can't just defend. Okay. Good to know. Oh, that's not so bad now because I did the arms break. Yeah. Huah. So, 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 so one of the things that this person, because um, I would say that uh, I, I haven't played really any mech combat games. I like I, Lancer looks super good. I would love to play Lancer, but haven't you know, no chance really for myself. And uh, yeah, I um, gotcha. I uh, you know other mech mech games I haven't really had a chance to play. I know there's been some mech RPGs. I think like yeah uh, uh, the big big stumbling block throughout the years for a tabletop RPG mech game has always been the whole scaling thing I mentioned. Like if someone's playing a tabletop RPG about mech combat, I imagine they are interested in some like segments while you are you know on foot and stuff. You know daily lives of the pilots. Not just the giant robot parts, because then it's not really an RPG almost, it's more just like a, you know, tactical game. Miniature game at that point, if you're just doing the mech combat stuff, and you know, that's basically Mech Warrior, or sorry, Battletech is of course the tabletop one. Um, yeah, try this on for size. Gotcha, oh yeah. So, this person who was like, writing about their plans for a, uh mech RPG, like, tabletop game. Right, this was just a tre treasure place here. Good, good, good. Um, they, they were gonna, like, not have... They, their, their solution was gonna be that there was not gonna be, like, s you know, scaling, you know, for the two modes, which means that the damage values, armor values, HP, HP everything for all the mech parts would be, like, you know, really nutty compared to... Oh, that's an actual exit. So it is, it's marked on the map as such. Whoopsie daisy. You know, the values would be like absolutely like bonkers compared to like the pilot. So, you know, like like a pistol and, uh, you know, mech, a pistol for a human and a mech scale laser rifle would both have stats comparable, which means the pistol would do pathetic damage and, you know, the numbers would be in like the hundreds, if not thousands for the, for the giant cannon thingy. And people, of course, were like, um, like, uh, you know, like, 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 uh, like, like, good fellow, um, like, this is crazy, like, how are you gonna handle the, like, um, how are you going to handle the, like, part of, well, like, the dice rolls are gonna be absurd for, like, the mechs then, like, it's gonna be crazy playing that. Uh-huh. This spot here is so we can call in our suits to... for reasons, I guess. Let's... Oh. Well, we could just also call them here, so I don't know what the purpose was. Let's have a quick fly around, see if there's something... Uh, something hidden in here. Doesn't look like it. That was just... Ah, that's kind of weird. Oh, except... Uh-huh, that's, that's the reason we wanted to go flying. So we want to hover, because we can hover over water. Let's go. Is that marked on the map? Yes, it is. It is marked on the map. I just didn't realize. Oh, no. Wait, no. We can't go there. What? Yeah, I can't land on the water, but I also... I, I, I thought we could go across there. No. Okay, so this is... There's a... There has to be a different trick here, then. Oh, no, I see. Here's a place we can, like, enter the water. I see. Clever, clever, clever. That's why that spot is there. In fact, actually, hold on. Could we have just gone swimming? No, we could not have. Oh, which means we are kind of stuck in here, then, actually. This is... This is one way only, then, I just now realized. I really hope there's an exit out of this place somewhere. Because I did not check the map. All right, we gotta open up on the Scotty Elemental before any other creature. The they do constant AOOs, and that's a AOEs. Sorry, and that's a problem. Ugh. Okay, bullying Sienna there a little bit. A little work on the devils on the side. 
Oh, I thought that agility. Nice. Arms break. We can get that off already without folding out of overdrive. Very good. Yeah. Oh boy, this took this long for Victor to get around to get that heal all. Um, I do need Sienna to stay alive, so I'm going to use heal all instead here. So the solution of this, like, RPG person, which I really wish I could remember where I read that. I remember it being a forum thread somewhere where this person was planning it. Their solution was that they were planning an RPG... It, not strictly a tabletop RPG, it was going to basically be online only. Like, this was a time of, you know, where playing RPGs online was kind of in its infancy compared to today, but still, you know, a growing thing, and people were, like, doing it oft, oft in online, you know? So, 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 so this person was reasoning, why not make an RPG that can only be played in that setting, in which case, like, you know, you can use virtual dice, so you don't have to worry about having to roll hundreds of dice, you know, or, or like, crazy modifiers. You can handle, like, all the, like, RPG software, virtual tabletop software could handle the crazy numbers crunching that the giant robots would require in this uh, game. I thought it was interesting, um, an interesting read. I don't know if anything ever came out of that plan, but this game just kind of, you know, to some extent, reminds me of that, I, I would say, like, um... Oh, boy. Is, is, uh, my, my feeling here that this, this kind of reminds me of that. In some sense, like, like, this was, like, th there was no compromise between the two game modes, again. And I think that's, uh, that's impressive, I think. Just personally speaking like that, um... Instead, they're using, like, all these, like, kind of, you know... Can you call them clever? Kind of, kind of, you know, interesting ways of, like, making sure that, like, you still have, like, varied combat by forcing you to not not, not always rely on, um... Not all... To, to not always rely on the, uh, sky armors, you know, by the environments. Wow! Well, huh. Huh. Okay, hold on. What went wrong this time? Because I've we've done this, we did this encounter a second ago, and um, I was able to do it. Was it really targeting the elemental is a really bad idea after all? But it's doing A AOEs all the time, so weird. Anyway, oh wow, this is weird how this wraps around. This is not exactly like how these spots are on the map, huh? Anyway, yeah, we're gonna have to see where we end up because there's no coming back after this path we chose. Perhaps Area 8 was actually the optional area and we had to come down this river to get here, perchance. I, I don't know. Anyway, let's... Again, I, I still think beating up that uh, elemental is the right plan. I just Something just went wrong here with my... Uh, my, my, my mode of attack. I'm, I'm not sure what happened there. I'm gonna use this even though it costs technical points, because we need to start getting some heals going. We're not in overdrive yet, but whatever. See if we can build a weapon meter here, we can maybe then pop a grody weapon attack with that. Um, and... Oh, right! The uh, Devils also have um, AoEs, but I feel like the Scotty Elemental, that's all it does, is toss out those, uh... Those, uh, you know, AoEs, so I... I, I still think the Elemental's the first one that needs to die here. Alright, we got one multiplier on that weapon attack, so, you know, not too bad. Oh, oh, I fell out of overdrive. When did that happen? Whoopsie daisy, I should have done that. Ah, well, this is a good damage to, you know, go for that weakness, so I'm gonna do it. No Petal Storm available. Come on, kill one of them. At, no. Oh, now Petal Storm's active, so. No!
It's not wasted on the Scotty Elemental. Instead, put it on Ice Devil, because I think that that guy is uh, about to die. And here's how that guy dies. Um, yeah, summon attack. Why the heck not? I was gonna use the Light Clay more, but that also will do the work. So there you go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. Wow, so this one went just a million times better. I don't know why... I don't know why it didn't work out that first time. Just bad luck, I guess, with these uh, enemy attacks coming our way. How did we fall out once again? We Is it bad mouthing? Is somehow dropping the meter? What, what is going on? I, I thought I'm, like, being careful about not going below the meter. Very weird. Oh, well. Da -da 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 -da. Um... Let's go back, Yokogiri. Okay, no lucky kill. Someone's skill went up. Exchange parts for our mech. Good, good, good. Hmm. Of course, the, the mech RPG I was describing was, uh, again, as mentioned, like ages and ages ago so you know when i was reading about it so like lancer rpg has come out since then and i feel like that's the that's the big one i would say like nowadays if everyone's pretty hyped who's into giant robots is hyped about the uh, lancer rpg so just doing a bit of exploring right you don't proc attacks when you're just flying around so we can have a free scouting here oh boy three big heads And then there's a random cave here. We can't return from this cave, so let's just... Oh, okay, this this hooks back up down to Area 8. Yeah. Let's check it out. It's a crystal cave. Cool. Get a ton of crystals from here. Uh... Yeah, some of these are pretty neat. Oh, and there's a golden treasure in here. Neat, 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 neat. Uh... Oh, I see. If we had come in here... Interesting. This, this area is one way only. You see, there's a ledge you drop down from. So we could not have come in here like the other route. This is just for wrapping back around. Good to know. Attack Gorget. Ooh, okay. Just, just big boosts all around. Who, who would benefit from that? What did the Heavenly Ring do? Oopsie. I removed it by accident. Reduces costs of skills by 20%. Oh, that's pretty good. But the attack gorget is uh, pretty good all around her there. Okay. The, the attack gorget has no extras like, like the other items. It just gives you. Well, this medallion is not very interesting. Let's give the freaking... Where was it? The... Heavenly Ring seemed really, really good. Let's just give that to her. Lava Gorget raises fire resistance. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think we'll do that. Yeah, I gotta come down so I can get this chest. Giant's Hide plus two. Okay, okay. Alright, clever area design. I like it. Yes, let's wrap back around here. We got a couple of uh, big head encounters now to deal with. But I imagine we'll do okay. These uh, Ice Elementals or Scotty Elementals seem to be the real killer around here. Uh, oop, no, no. Okay. Air. Flight. Please. There's treasure to get over there. 
Oh, interesting. There's some regular enemies that we could just fly over and beat up. We could probably just land here, right? Or maybe not. I don't know if that game will let us. So we're gonna beat up these guys first. Get this treasure. Just two big heads, so should go fine. Oh my god, that damage when when you got gear two up. Ugh. That punch though. Gonna let this uh, meter not 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 gear up yet. Just let this play a little bit. Ugh. Once again, uh, Bathros is being bullied pretty hard. All right, we're gonna actually cycle down because I think a regular attack will take that big head down. Lovely. Oh yeah. Now let's gear up. And get a heal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Eh, we can still stay in gear too. For a little bit at least. Poison this fella? Yeah. Ah, no. Just, just attack regularly, I guess, for now. Good to keep that, you know... Cycle there, I guess. Okay, I could have cycled up though, so we'd move to the right. Hmm, that wasn't very smart of me, I guess. All right, cycle down so we can build up some uh, technical points. Right, we get 60 technical points. I watch now the meter go up from 20 to 80. So not bad. All right, time to finish this. Yeah. Ancient Skull. 